little bird's nest here. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is another uh, fire making video. Yeah, I know. I make a lot of fire making videos. Well, I really like making fires. I also like to add uh, more weapons to my arsenal. So more knowledge, the better, right? The thing with making fires, especially with stuff like flint and steel, bow drill, even a fair cerium ser rod, is that you're adding uh, more skills to your repertoire. And what I mean by that is not only are you um, learning different ways to make and fire, but it makes you think outside of the box. So like when I go to the bush now, I'm looking at what can I use for tinder? What can I use for, um, you know, my small kindling? What can I use, even, like how, where can I get fat wood and all this kind of stuff. So the more knowledge you have, the uh, it de definitely helps you if, you if we ever get into that survival situation, you know, end of the world type thing. Um, and at the end of the day, it's just really fun. It's just really fun to do. Uh, it just keeps me busy, gets me outdoors, gets me uh, tinkering with uh, different objects. So today we're going to be trying to, to do a uh, a steel and flint fire. Um, now this kit I actually picked up off Amazon. It's called the Pizkook kit. And it, honestly, it was super, super cheap. Um, it was $22 Canadian. It comes with a nice piece of uh, cloth to make char cloth with. It comes with a uh, nice high carbon steel, obviously not the nicest uh, cutout or whatever. It even comes with a bellows. It comes with a nice piece of quartz. Uh, uh, one gentleman told me it was actually called a smoky quartz, so I don't know enough about quartz and stuff yet. So, And it also comes with a bunch of tinder material, and it comes with this nice tin. So, um, first step to making a fire with, with uh, flint and steel is actually going to be making char cloth. So, so I got a fire outdoors. So, let's head out there. We're going to make some char cloth. So, this is my first time making char cloth, so bear with me. This is going to be a learning experience for me, possibly for you as well. Um, so, I mean, it seems like a pretty simple process. Drill a hole in the tin, throw it in there so the gases escape, and uh, make this black. And then we we'll, should be able to make a fire steel fire. So I'm outside, I got my tin, I got my char cloth in there. So just char cloth. Alright. So got a little helper again. Hi Olivia. Hi. I'm just coming down for baby. We got our fire going, might as well roast some hot dogs while we're doing this. And all you do mm. is throw it down there on the fire and you cook it for about 10-15 uh, minutes. <laughs> There you go guys, you can see how the smoke is coming out of the container. That just means all the gases are coming out. Uh, apparently if you don't put a... Apparently a uh, fire coming out of it is not a big deal either because it's just a lot of the gases that are burning out of it. So, Anyways, I've never made char cloth so I don't know. I'll probably check in about 10 minutes and see how she's doing. Alright, time to pull this thing out. <sighs> Basically, I'm just going to let it cool down to the touch before I open it. Yeah, and we'll see if uh, we were successful in making some char cloth. So, there you go. It's cool to the touch. Oh, bam. That's exactly, exactly what we're looking for. So, this, my friends, is char cloth. This is what's going to be very integral with making um, a flint and steel fire. So, we're actually going to head into the garage right now to uh give this a go all right so the reason i'm moving to the garage for this next portion um it's just it's freaking cold outside uh, i want to work without gloves especially since it's my first time doing this um so yeah so let's get some stuff ready so again we have that char cloth but you're gonna need a little bit more than just char cloth to get this started so so i have this bag of tender that came with the kit so i am going to use some of this I'm not going to use a lot. Um, basically, I'm not trying to start a fire. Well, I am trying, but I just want to see proof of concept. It's more like it, right? So, here we go. So, I got my little tinder bundle. I make, you know, just fluff it out. Make it into a little bird's nest. All right, and that's what we're going to be putting our ember in. So, 
if you guys had seen my bow drill fire, same kind of concept. We're, we're using this to make the ember, but then we need to put it inside of a tinder bundle and, you know, blow into it and create that flame. All right. So now I've actually been just practicing getting sparks with this thing. All right. So there is a certain way to get sparks. So when you grab your piece of flint, what you're kind of looking for is a really, really sharp edge. And this is what's helped me actually get some pretty consistent spark. So here, if I run my finger across here, I'm looking for like a very, oh, right there. So that's a very, very sharp pointy edge. So now if I come down with my striker at about a 30 degrees, I don't know if that picked it up or not, but I got a bunch of sparks there. Let me see. Anyways, I think it's kind of hard to pick up with the phone camera. So now we'll find a new edge. So now this is where the char cloth comes. Like, so you'll see char cloth is actually very, very brittle, but it's going to take uh, an ember really, really well, or a spark to create an ember very, very well. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your flint and you're gonna take your char material and you're gonna put it just on top of the flint right there. So what you're trying to do is when you hit this, you want that spark to actually roll down into the char cloth. All right, so give this a shot to see. There you go. So you can see, got a nice amber. So I'm just gonna put it into my tinder bundle like this. There we go. Boom. So easy peasy. It really isn't that hard to uh, get a fire going with uh, flint and steel. Like I said, give it a shot. It's a new skill and it's pretty darn easy. I honestly thought it was going to be a lot harder than that. Um, like said, find a sharp corner. Make sure you're coming down a 30 degree angle to get a nice spark. And it's all about the char cloth. Now, uh, before I go, I will be getting some natural materials once the weather uh, changes. So I want to go find my own quartz. Um, so and basically any sharp stone, like any hard stone. So quartz, flint, chert, any of that kind of stuff that's going to be harder than metal. Because you want you want that spark to get created off that high carbon steel. Uh, again, you don't need something fancy like this either. You can actually use an old uh, high carbon file and just clean up the edge and then you can honestly get some sparks. Or you can even do it from a high, with a high carbon knife. And as for uh, char cloth, you can make it out of any kind of cotton shirt. You can even make it out of punk wood. That's going to be something I'll show you guys more in the springtime when the snow melts. But yeah, so whoever's new to this channel, check out the rest of my content. I got lots of fire making, bushcrafting content. So if you like this, you'll probably like the rest of my stuff and feel free to subscribe. And everybody else, don't forget to hit that big like. That really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, thanks for coming and we'll catch you guys on the next one.